Welcome to Campaign Headquarters for another edition of Chalk Talk. We're here today to talk about energy legislation. I'm on my way over to Springfield. We're supposed to have an energy bill on the House floor today. We'll see how that goes. And I wanted to bring you up to date on some of the things that we think are going to be in that bill. Um, there's about a $700 million subsidy over five years to keep three nuclear power plants open. That uh, is very, very necessary to keep those plants operating, about 4,000 kilowatts a year of electric generation. Uh, we also believe that the infrastructure bill in Congress will get passed and that will intercede in this and we will never spend the $700 million. But there's other parts of this bill that aren't so good. And that is the renewable portfolio budget. Now that's going to be about a $550 million budget for things that we really don't know what it's going to go for. Democrats like it, they think they're gonna be able to spend $550 million on pet projects. This bill also phases out private coal plants by 2030. They're already closing because the states put very onerous emission standards on them. Uh, it phases out the uh, public, uh, two public power plants by 2045, that's premature. Those plants can operate for another 30 or 40 years without above that, uh, but uh, they wanna shut down these coal plants. It also shuts down our gas generators by 2030, although there's a provision they could stay open to 2045 with some emissions uh, remediation. Again, not a good deal. Those plants are good for another 50 years. Another piece of this, the Jobs Equity and Community Training Act, that's about $180 million of uh, money that's just gonna disappear uh, we're going to train people to install solar panels. Those jobs will go away in a few years. That money, if we're going to spend it, should be used to enhance and, and improve apprenticeship programs and get people in these programs where they have careers, not a three to five year window. There's a green bank. Uh, the state is going to make low interest loans for uh, green energy projects. No idea how much that's going to be. Uh, never a good idea when the state gets into the banking business. There's also electric vehicle portion of this. Uh, the state's thinking that they can pay up to 80% of the cost of installing charging stations around the state. Again, there's a lot of that in the infrastructure plan from the federal government. Uh, the governor also wants to mandate a million electric vehicles on our roads by 2030. I don't know how you do that. Uh, I don't know how many people are willing to pay over $40,000 for a new car. Uh, and I certainly don't want to subsidize those that are. So bottom line, what's the cost, really? The cost to consumers. Governor says it's 10 bucks. Other people say it's 20 to 30. That may be in the very beginning of this. By the time we get this fully implemented in the next three to five years, it could be well over that. And that's just on the consumers. Think what this is going to do to the business community. One of the great things Illinois has going for it is our low cost, highly dependable, efficient electric generation. When we lose that, we're going to lose our economic base. So that's where we are. I'll be in Springfield. We'll keep you up to date. Thanks for being here. Talk to you soon.